In this tutorial, we will demonstrate how to set up an employee pension deduction outside of automatic enrolment. For assistance with automatic enrolment duties, please view our specific automatic enrolment videos. Firstly, enter the details of the pension scheme by selecting the pensions tab on the menu bar, followed by add new scheme. Under other pension schemes, select the type of pension scheme you wish to set up. Under name and type, enter the name of the pension and the reference if known. If you wish to set up default contributions, enter these accordingly. These can be subsequently changed for each employee as required. Contributions can be made on either a set amount basis or a percentage basis. Depending on the pension scheme chosen, also indicate the tax relief applicable. Also, if applicable, enter the range of earnings on which to calculate percentage based deductions for the scheme in question. Within the contact and payment section, enter in the contact details of the pension provider and your method of payment to them. Click Save to finish. To apply pension deductions to an employee's payslip, click Payroll on the menu bar and select your employee's name in the summary view. Within the Additions and Deductions section on the employee's payslip, click on Add. Choose an existing pension scheme from the list or click Pension Schemes to add a new scheme. Once the pension scheme has been selected, this will now appear in the Employees Deduction section. Enter your employee's contribution and, if applicable, any employer or additional voluntary contribution. Pension deductions can be applied on a set amount basis or on a percentage basis. To use the percentage basis, simply change the pound sign to a percentage sign and end the applicable percentage rate. To add further pensions, click on Add again and repeat the process. Should you wish to edit any pensions you have set up, simply click the Edit button. Here you will find a facility to set a pension to repeat every pay period until you choose to manually remove it or to repeat up to and including a particular date in the future. If you wish to reorder two or more additions or deductions you have set up, an ordering facility is also available here. Alternatively, if you wish to delete a pension, click delete.